It's been quite some time, I know this. But I've bought an helmet, I bought a little 125, I did my bike theory test, I went on holiday, I bought some Kevlar jeans, I bought a nice jacket, refurbed some calipers. Sorry to sound bluebird. Went for a bike ride, I've had some ice cream, I went to a gig. I used a can of energy drink to find a boost leak. It didn't work. I went all day again. I went in a boat. Sat on a beach. It was my lad's birthday. Bought another bike. Now I've got two. I went in a digger. We saw a Lambo. I did some work on the bike. New sprocket. Pass me mod one. Pass me mod two. Got a full bike license. I need a bus now, I need. And I've taken me look back to the Renaissance period. Beautiful. Okay, now you're all caught up with everything. Let's have a look at the goodies. BC Racing coilovers. Ooh, we get stickers. Now these are getting increasingly expensive for LS400. It's just unreal. You're looking. I reckon at some point they're going to be like a grander set, and and I don't think they're really worth a grander set. I think these were 800 pounds. It's a full complement of poly bushes, some hard race arms, brand new top arms, and the coilovers. There's about two grand out there, unbelievably. I'm just gonna pull these sill covers off again, just because I wanna clean up everything under here. And I've taken this stuff off. And this rust bullet really, it takes a bit of getting off. It's good stuff, but you know, it has sort of held it back a little bit, but not really enough, I don't think. So I'm just gonna clean all this all up. And then I'm gonna go underneath and give all that a clean up, give it all an acid off. Get it all nice so when the subframe goes on, it's all nice and, you know, nice. Due to some copyrighted music, I can't play the original audio over this. So I'm gonna have to speak over it. What happened, it started out as a bit of a cleaning up job, turned into a, we need to cut some rust out job. Yeah. But look down there, it's quite nice. It's just the. The first few inches are a bit ropey, um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna attack that with the acid and try and kill the rust. I know you can't actually kill rust; it's just a myth. But you know, we can we can slow it down, stop it a bit, a little bit. But this gives you a good idea of where LS 400s will rust. Camera fail. Yeah, even though the metal is fairly rusted, that they use real good quality steel on these, and it's it's thick as well. So yeah, I'm just going to cut that out, level it all off, make it a patch panel, and weld that in. And the rest of that's been cut out now, and I, I'm really shocked at how how clean the rest of it is down there. I'm definitely going to fire some cavity wax into there. It's pretty good. Yeah, oh, there's a little bit, a little tiny bit of ginger at the end. Ah, look at that. So the next step for this is to get the acid in there. Look at all that. That's some strength going on in there. No wonder these things are so heavy. All that. You, you don't see that. You pull a Fiat sill off, there's nothing in there, it's just empty. Might just keep it at bay for now. I mean, otherwise I'm going to have to cut, like, cut a chunk of this out just to get to that bit when the rust is pretty much between the three, the three little sections. I don't want to get carried away like I have with everything else. I just want to whack a plate over it, backfill it with wax oil and stuff to just hold it back a little bit more, a little bit longer. You know? Because I've got, you know, I need to get on with the rest of it. Especially under there, that's what I wanted to, to get. Put the acid in there, oh, it's come out of that hole, so that's all right. But other than that, it's pretty good in there. So under the Lexus where the, um, the back end, that is a, a 
sunroof drain and they do go crusty around there pretty bad so it's just scabby 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 so what I've done I've taken off the rear brake pipe across because they need replacing anyway they're not great it came undone okay uh, on that bit and that'll clean up all right that's pretty good it's in pretty good shape and then I've gone under all there trying not to drip brake fluid on the phone um, yeah cleaned up all under there got all the surface crap off and then give it a bit of acid uh, I want to do under the that where is supporting the car right now but I'm gonna have to wait for that but I do need to clean up all under here these are the tricky areas to do um, but now I can get to behind all that where it was a bit crappy and I'll do the same this side I mean it's not horrendous but well the subframe's off I'm, be I'm best off doing it now on I really uh, the rest of it's not too bad I, I did it all sort of a bit of a rush job last year or the year before I can't remember but yeah it needs doing so I'm gonna carry on with that the state of the engine bay. She needs such a clean, uh, gratuitous subframe shot. Nuts and washers cleaned in citric acid. That is amazing stuff. These are some Instagram pictures I think I'll put on. Uh, ready to go in. Scrubbed with a wire wheel on the grinder. Coats of epoxy primer. Finished off with some black amorite. It's come up quite well pretty shiny underneath now mind the finger yeah it's looking all right she's getting there it's gonna put that little baby back together I have a bit like the job a bit like the job why is it when it's really quiet you have to whisper I'm not sure so that's some more brake pipe work to do yet. And everything's new. Everything's new. So, she's almost back together. Okay, so you'll see that the subframe is not there anymore. If, you, if you're on my Instagram, you may have seen that the wheels, the wheels are on. Oh, it's that. These don't, these don't appreciate the frame rate, do they? So there is a subframe fitted back together. Diffs in, poly bushed, but we're all there. Prop shaft is back in. Back up. Hard race. Yeah, why not? New handbrake cables. A world of newness. I just scratched that off there. Anyway, give it another coat when it's uh, later on. I also really should have done the back of the diff case in silver. Yeah, but when you, just, you just want it on the road, don't you? You want it, you want it back on the road. So yeah, there she is. Got to tighten up the uh, the bolts for the drive shafts. Then I can put the brackets on for under here, and the roll bar, and the exhaust. And then the back end's nearly put back together. Yay! So the bumper's on. Sort of. It's absolutely filthy, obviously. Everything is filthy in here. This piece of sticking out is what lines up the two the two arches as they meet. That's what that's left in there for. Uh, the space is on. I was having trouble with these spigot rings, being that they 
they don't sit flush with the wheel because uh, I guess they fit alloy wheels rather than the steel wheels or cheap plastic ones but uh, I had a bit of an epiphany in that I, I just put them through from the other way <laughs> they're a super tight fit <laughs> and uh, when they're on they're, you know they're only for aligning the uh, centre bore aren't they I'll, I'll glue them I'll glue them in the glue. Uh, so the sill edge trim is back on. I said the bumper is back on. Looks like I put the arches back on now. I've done the oil and filter. So she's ready to start. Obviously, I've forgotten a battery. Uh, yeah, I'll just take that up for now. But, you know. as the turbo is not there presently. But that's the beauty of the rear mount turbo. You can just pull it off and run the stock exhaust. There it is. The roll bar's on, the brackets are on for the subframe, exhaust is on. Just this big hole to cover up for now, uh, yeah. So yeah, it's coming along nicely. Get it built back up. It's, it's all the newness. I lost those clips, so I've replaced them with some generic Toyota brake pipe clips. I think they're off an IS200 or something like that. So uh, that's good to know that they fit. It's a bit tamed with the exhaust, standard exhaust on. Still got no cats on and no, no centre resonator. Just four rear silencers, that's all there is. Got a new knob because that one's a bit scabby. Smells good in here. Leather just smells nice. I'll say in the back, it's uh, still looking a bit bare, but we have, I've put that cover on the, uh, adjustable coilovers, BC Racing, all fitted. I'll tell you what, this, uh, having these adjustable, makes getting that bolt for the shock absorber so much easier to get in. Obviously now there's no tension on it where there should be and the alignment's miles away. That looks like it's towing in considerably, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, so that's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow with a battery I'll get it struck up, check the oil level. I need, probably need another liter in it. And um, I could do with getting the front bumper on, really. And I could put it on the ground. Everything's new under there. New upper arms, both sides. Oh, I say everything, just new upper arms, really. So next time, she might be on the ground, she might be running, but she will be running, she will be running.